So, I'm the person who doesn't like working in group projects because mainly I don't get to pick who I want to work with, including the one that I'm about to share with you. So the story began back in 2015. While attending assembly, the staffs on the podium announced that there would be an order army contest. They said the winner would get tickets to jump. Jump is basically a building full of trampolines that you jump around. I love origami, and naturally I was very excited for this. So, I wanted to work with another person, because he's really good with origami himself. And also, I really wanted to learn from him too. But like, after 30 seconds of announcing the origami contest by the staffs, this person beside me, I'll call him Bonnie, went up to me and said, Do you want to come join me? Before I was able to process what's going on, he quickly dragged me in with two other people, and I'll call them Doofus1 and Doofus2. And you know those three people? They are stupid. To the point that you want to facepalm yourself through your head. They were total slackers. The thing is that Bonnie kind of knows that I'm pretty hardworking and knows I could kind of do origami. So I should have took that as a sign that he just wanted me to work in a group so then he could slack off with his two other friends and profit from me. So after the assembly, I went back to class and started planning and drafting out some of the things I was gonna do while the other three were outside doing their own thing. So my origami piece was about a parody of the dragon and the princess fairy tale story. Long story short, princess said help, people thought the dragon took her, they hunt the dragon down and was recently more aggressive than before, the dragon was a man who gave birth not long ago, the people felt bad for the dragon so they became allies together. Epilogue a servant walks around the castle, hears the princess screaming for help, and sees her stuck on the wall because it was coated with new paint. Yeah, it's pretty stupid. I was trying to get it done until I finally remembered about the other three, which they just didn't came to me, they just ran away and did their own thing. So then I asked them for help, they said okay and wanted my iPad to learn how to make a dragon. After taking said iPad, I kept an eye on them every so often, and they don't seem to be doing much. They were laughing, smiling, talking to each other, doesn't seem too concentrated, maybe I'm just judging too hard, I don't know. When it was break time, they left my iPad on their seats. I went to retrieve the iPad and saw that they didn't do much at all. I saw that they didn't make much of an attempt on folding the paper, and instead of watching tutorials, they were watching their own YouTube videos that they like, and also going on to my mom's music playlist. Hmm. As time passes, I decided to turn my 10 hour sleep to a 6 hour sleep so I can do more origami stuff at home. I decided to ask the three of them for more help, but when I gave them paper, they agreed but later ran off doing their own thing. And so I continue to ask, they continue to not contribute, and this cycle just keeps repeating and just gets depressing. They can't even color things. And while doing work by myself, this person called Kurt came over. He wasn't in my group or doing the origami things, but he was willing to help me. I then had a thought about leaving the group. And so I did on the next day. After Kurt helping me last time, I decided to ask others to help me with the project, and a bunch of people came and helped me with the project. Eventually, those three people that are from my group came over and said, Hey, what are they doing here? Oh, they were in my group and I quit. Their face were in complete horror, and a huge crap of drama was going to unfold from there. They told me that the project that 97% I made was theirs. I said it wasn't theirs because they barely ever contributed to anything so it's mine. And so they continued arguing over the project I made. They were so angry that they got their friends to argue at me. Basically just repeating whatever they said to me. This also got to a point that they involved the teachers too. 
I don't know what's going on in their brain to think it was a good idea to have the teachers over just because of a stupid origami project. So then the teacher came over to me and was asking what is going on. I told him everything that happened. He chuckled a little and walked away. I usually don't stand up for myself but you know it's pretty weird that I was able to do that so yeah. Those three began spreading lies to other people, saying how they did all the work and that I stole the work from them. And there were two responses. One, the person didn't care about what they're blabbering about because it's useless. And two, some people actually defended me. And there's this one spectacular dingus. And I'll name him Donkey Butt. So he sees us working with, with like 8 people and whines That's too much people, there can only be 4 people working in their group I'm gonna tell a teacher And after that, I was surprised how much people were volunteering themselves to be out of the group They didn't care about the prize, they cared about the project and wanted to contribute themselves And how I asked for help because you know, you, those are the 3 After that day I saw the origami project graffitied over. The names of the project were crossed out and were covered with the name Kurt and the back was also graffitied Kurt. I didn't immediately assume Kurt because he's a pretty cool person. I instead did a bit of investigation and it didn't take me too long to find out who did it. It was Barney. The handwritings were too similar. The person who dragged me into his group and blamed Kurt because I hadn't initially picked him to be in the group and chose three others. So then came voting time. I saw Donkey Butt beside the origami project I was working on. I kept a close eye on him and he was spreading lies about me and the project and stuff to deter the people voting for me. He managed to not get a single vote out of my project, so nothing was severely harmed. We got second place. First place was a very enchanted forest thing, and the third place was a milk cap art for a bird. You know how I said the winners would get jump tickets? We got Freddo chocolates, which are these little chocolate frogs. But oh well, I had a lot of fun making the origami project, and I wish to do that again too. Also, one info, one of our project members weren't here, so I got Kurt to be with us and get the chocolate too. I looked at the three doofuses giving me the betrayal stare, and I just stared back. Using people to your own advantage is not gonna go well, because the person that you are using can actually sabotage your own plan, so Karma is a female dog. Say chinchillas.